Hi everyone, uh, welcome back to my channel. Right, um, my review Barista Pro is back, right? It's back from the uh, repair center. Um, so let's run through a, a recap of what actually happened to my machine. Yeah, so apparently, um, when I try to run a blind shot, um, the uh, machine will actually beep uh, three times after about maybe five uh, five seconds and the machine will stop dispensing water uh, through the shower screen right so um, this problem has been solved in my uh, and you can see that the steam when I try to um, steam on the steam one the steam button is flashing on the screen right this but this problem is also solved and uh, Actually, my machine has nothing wrong. There's nothing wrong with my machine. So apparently, the machine needs to warm up. Right, even though it runs on thermal jet, it has to warm up. So when you run into a steam issue like this, right, there's nothing wrong with your steam, uh, steam one, or there's nothing wrong with your boil, um, thermal jet system. Basically, what's going on is there's a sensor. Uh, I was told by the technician there was actually a sensor at the tip, and the tip actually senses the temperature of the steam. And uh, if uh, you allow the steam one to eject the steam without water inside, uh, the steam one will actually stop after uh, after a while to protect uh, the steam one itself. So uh, the, the best way to correct this problem is actually get a um, beaker of water. Right, you can use a milk jug, fill it to half full, then you run your steam one um, through, uh, run the steam through the steam one into the water and let it run for maybe 30 to 40 seconds and this will actually heat up the system and if you do this it should be able to reset all the problems that you had previously uh, including the uh, uh, when you try to run blind shots the, the water stops after four or five seconds and uh, ends with three bits you should also settle the problem right another problem uh, that may contribute and not may, uh, maybe another issue that may have contributed this is because I'm uh, in Singapore and I bought the machine from Australia so um, the the plug that came with the sister the, the machine is an Australian plug when I switch the plug to the local plug which is the UK plug the problem seems to be have resolved so uh, currently I think the problem lies with the power plug which is the UK plug um, so my suggestion is you better change the plug to your local plug if you have uh, bought the machine uh, from Australia into your country, which is uh, in my case Singapore. Right, so you can see uh, I will try to run through uh, the machine. Uh, it's back from the dealer uh, repair center as I said. The machine is, uh, according to the technician, there's totally nothing wrong with the machine. So I'm really glad that this has uh, this turned out to be this way. So let's try to see whether uh, I can still make a good shot out of the machine after so long, right? I think the machine is out of action for slightly over two months, right? Uh, when the COVID-19 started, I couldn't send the machine for repair, so it has been out of action. And uh, after the circuit breaker um, in Singapore, in phase two, I sent the machine back to the uh, uh, Singapore dealer uh, to get it repaired. And uh, I actually collect it back once. And uh, when I collect it back, the, uh, the technician didn't help me change to the UK local plug. And I still experiencing, I still experience the same problem of water. Um, uh, when I try to run the blind shot, the water still um, stop after a few seconds and it ends with three bits. But after the machine has been returned to me with the plug changed to a local UK plug, the problem seems to have resolved. Right, so let's try to run a, a shot and see whether I can still uh, get a good shot out of this machine. So again, this is the uh, ABS for, uh, dosing funnel for the design. Right. I have already preset the uh, grind timer to be 14.5 seconds. Right, it measures up to about 18 grams of the ground. Right, so I, I don't really measure my beans now because I've set it such that uh, the coffee bean is almost close to 18 grams. Plus minus maybe uh, a few uh, 0 
and the beans I'm using now is actually the maximum class which is our best seller from Cafe Metella if you're interested you can actually um, um, get a sales link from the description below right um, but I think if you are trying to buy this from overseas uh, the shipping cost can be quite can be quite expensive so probably this will only be for local Singaporeans or if you are in Singapore, right? The temple I'm using is still the uh, temple with a round edge, right? Um, it creates some ring ridges on the ground, right? Which seems to be working quite well, right? Uh, as I mentioned in my previous video, uh, I'll be uh, doing a comparison against this versus the normal uh, three fin uh, distributor, right? So you can see that the ground actually display a ring like pattern. It has actually ridges uh, supposed to allow the water to distribute better uh, and usually after distributing I'll tamp the ground slightly lightly so that it, do it doesn't feel uh, like uh, there's a, a spongy kind of feeling you know that the ground is actually firmly pressed so let's look at the, the shot from the bottomless bottle filter right um, I'm trying to target at the ratio of 1 is to 2 which is 18 grams about 36 grams out right let's get a closer look of the extraction right let's let take a let's take a closer look at the extraction uh, for this segment uh, the initial extraction I slow down the speed of the video playback so um, there's nothing wrong with your video player or YouTube player, right? I'm just uh, slowing the, the video speed down so they can see, uh, uh, get a better pictures of uh, how the extraction is done. Um, I think it's uh, extracted pretty good, right? There's no um, visible channeling. So I think the, um, the distributor did uh, quite a good job. And I think the tamping uh, further uh, reduces the possibility of channeling in the coffee ground so there's actually no squirting of the coffee whatsoever and the coffee runs really like a uh, honey and uh, is pretty good right so let's see whether we can keep the uh, 30 seconds extraction with a 1 is to 2 ratio, roughly about 36 grams of extraction. So let's look at the coffee scale. We are getting about 34, about 35 grams of a coffee out, which is pretty good. Uh, close to 1 is to 2 ratio. Um, so right, so let's test the... Uh, steam on to see whether it is working uh, before that you can see how rich the crema is right um, it's really very thick crema it's very creamy right let's see whether the steam is uh, working properly right i've uh, not been practicing on this uh, steam one for quite some time so uh, i may not be <laughs> that uh, uh, good in the steaming anymore uh, as these things really need practices I've been relying on my Bambino Plus which is auto frothing so it will take a few practices for me to get back in shape so if I didn't get a good form uh, just uh, bear with me right, the steam power seems to be okay and very consistent Right, you can hear the tap, tap, tap sound from the from the pump. I think um, I didn't get enough microphone, uh, and I think the last layer is going to Pardon my language. Yeah, always remember to clean your steam one and do a purging after you have uh, steamed the milk.
Right, I think the steam one seems to be working perfectly. Uh, the steam power is uh, it's really good on the Barista Pro as compared to the uh, Barista Express. So, um, yeah, as expected, the micro form is not rich enough. There's not enough form for me to do the latte art. So, it's just a mess. But the coffee still tastes really good. So I hope you enjoy what you have uh, been watching. And uh, do stay tuned for more updates and on this machine. And uh, hope you like it. And do remember to subscribe.